Keep it gangster, y'all. Keep it gangster. Greetings and welcome back to another raptastic episode of the podcast. I'm your host as always, motherfucking Jason Oliver. And with us in the house today, who's brought what? Master P, he's brought some Baba Quinn with his honey. Well, it's his honey. It says my honey, but it's his honey. I'm a little concerned about that, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And my brother from another mother, motherfucking Snoop Dogg is up in the house with some cheddar barbecue nocho nachos. I'm really looking forward to trying these out. These look like a Dorito chip, whereas these are a cl- classic traditional chip. Unfortunately, Rick Ross, that crazy motherfucker, brought sweet chili lemon pepper to the table, uh, but he didn't put any image of what the chip looks like. So I'm going to, feeling the package out, I'm going to assume it's just a traditional chip. We'll find out when we get there and this bougie motherfucker over here bob quinn with my honey okay so it, this is bob quinn with my honey bob quinn with my honey this one's got truffle this one does not i'm assuming they're both traditional chips because this one appears to be and this one appears to be this one feel okay there are some chips down here hang on yeah so it looks like my man snoop dog is the only one that brought something different to the table all you guys all you brought was just regular old chips but we'll, we'll give them a whirl let's start things off with master p's bob quinn with my honey I need to stop the video for just one moment. During the editing process, I realized that I was saying Barbara Quinn wrong. It's barbecuing with my honey. Okay, so it's not my honey. No one's creating honey out of their pores or anything like that. It's barbecuing with my honey. All right, back to me. What is my honey? Is that a company or is that like, is he making it himself? Has he found a way to like, like bees do? Oh, these are not traditional chips. These are puffs. They're cheese puffs. If I'd read the whole package, we would have discovered that. Barbara Quinn with my honey cheese puffs. Okay. Well, if you're a rapper, you know where you're snacking at the Rap Snack Icon Chips. Here we go. Puff away. Shit, everything is real on this concrete and steel. This is delicious. The sweetness with the cheese is an interesting combination of things that I wouldn't have expected to work together, but that's really good. I can't believe how original those tasted. I I wasn't expecting anything. You know, let's face it. This is probably a cash grab. I don't know much about wrap snacks, so I certainly don't mean to offend them in any way. But if you put Snoop's face on a package, it's going to grab someone's attention. You don't have to make the product incredibly good as long as it sells. This is really good, like very good. Let's move on to Snoop's here. Now, recently we did the barbecue Doritos, and this looks very similar to that. Those barbecue Doritos are some of the best Doritos I've ever had. Very, very good. If you haven't tried them, I think they're a limited edition. They come in a black package, which is pretty sweet, and they are delightful. All right, let's see what we got here. Smells like a bag of chips. Make every opportunity count. Stay focused. Be relentless and do whatever it takes to master your craft. Calvin Snoop Dogg Brodus. Damn, I like that. Feels good to be a gangster. All right, let's try out Snoop's uh, nacho barbecue chip here. Nocho nacho. so much drama in this chip it's gonna be so hard to review it all right this did not grab me as strongly as the first of the puffs the thing with these is they're good something that really stands out to me about with these is the fact that i expected it to be crunchier like a dorito but it's a little bit um crispier i guess in a way so it breaks apart easier i I can't really explain the process but you know what i mean when i talk about crispy and crunchy i think i would like to have had a lot more barbecue on here actually i love you so much snoop i'm gonna try one more chip see if it's a little more barbecuey here we go (laughs) it's there the barbecue is definitely there the sweet tanginess of the barbecue i just want more of it Pretty good, though. Very good. Good good try. Good try. You get an A in effort. Rick Ross, you crazy motherfucker, bringing sweet chili lemon pepper. I love spicy things, as you guys may or may not know. I like sweet things, too, as you probably know. But uh, I don't know what this is about here. Are they? I think they're potato chips. It says potato chips, so they're potato chips. Let me get a smell on this. Mm, hmm. Yeah, it kind of almost has like a fruity tropical smell to it. Not a lot of fire there. Let's take a look at them. Ooh, wow. That's like a, it's like a hybrid between a potato chip and a, um, 
a Dorito. It's got like the texture and the dusting of the Dorito, but it's shaped like a chip. Let's give it a whirl. I don't know that I've ever tasted anything that good in my life. First, let me apologize, because this is obviously meant to be some kind of a silly video. It wasn't supposed to be taken too seriously, but I have to give respect where respect is due. And wrap snacks? Holy shit. These are all amazing. This is just, this is the stuff of legends. We're going to talk about this a little bit more after we try Nicki Minaj and her, her bougie truffle chips. When I think of truffles, I think of the little chocolate truffles. Like, I don't think of truffles that come from the ground. So I'm going to just pretend that when I think of this. Either way, though, when I think of truffles, I think of bougie. When I think of truffles, I think of, like, caviar. Cocaine wishes and caviar dreams. Story of my life. It's my biography. comes out next week. Hmm. Hmm. It smells very earthy. I'm getting a lot of earth tones out of this. Uh, I don't like a folded chip. Let me see if I can find an unfolded chip. There's a lot of folded chip. They're all folded into each other. Not saying that's a bad thing. Um, I'm going to note this too at this moment. These chips are very different. They're very different. However, these chips are being manufactured before they put anything on them, they're good. They're very good, and there's a different quality about them that, that I really love. Here we go. Oh, that's fancy. That's good. I hate using the word over and over again. I need to look up some synonyms for this word, but these are unique. Uh, these are a lot less uh, bright and like in your face than the other ones have been, but it's still a flavor I didn't expect to taste on a chip. I don't know what a truffle tastes like, so I can't tell you if it tastes like a truffle or not. I can tell you that they taste very good. Um, and it's the, the subtlest of all of them that are still amazing, still amazing. You're going to have to forgive me for just a moment. I want to try one of these because I wasn't really looking for the texture in these when I tried it the first time. I thought it was just going to taste like a, a cheese, you know, poof. So give me a second. There's a very rapid dissolve to them. I like that. I have no problem with that. I think they're more dense than regular cheese poofs, puffs, whoever. What, the, what are they called? I can't remember. There's more bang for your buck is what I'm saying. They, they feel like they're tighter, where the other ones are a little bit loosey-goosey and, and, and airy in a way. These are unbelievably good. I'm going to give these a 10. Uh, these were fantastic. I love the quality of the, the Dorito chip, the way it's not a, quite a Dorito chip. Dusting on it was good. Would have liked a little more barbecue. I'm going to give this an 8. Snoop, give me a little more barbecue. Come on, give me that sauce. Rick Ross, I don't have to say anything more. This is a 10. If you don't go out and try this right now, you're doing yourself a disservice. This is unbelievable how good this tastes. Everything about this is amazing. I cannot fault anything about this chip whatsoever. It is the perfect chip, and it should be right up there on the shelves with Dorito, with Lay's, all the other companies. I still know very little about wrap snacks, but I know that they're really producing genuinely well-crafted, tasty, delicious products. Nicki Minaj, the bougie one with the truffles on her chips. Very, very good. I'm going to give this an 8. I want to score it higher. I'm going to give it an 8.5 because it, it's, it's better than that. It's a better than an 8, but it's not quite a 9. There's, it, the subtlety to it is appreciated after all these being really loaded up front and hit you in the face. This is definitely a slow burn that as you're chewing it and the more of the chip you eat, the more and more flavor comes to life. So, yeah, I, I could say, it. Uh, what do we got here? What did I say? A nine? So one last time for the record, we've got 10, 8, 10, 8 and a half. Amazing chips, wrap snacks. You deserve the accolades. If you see these at Walmart, try them all out. And if you see any other flavors that I have not tried here, please let me know in the comments below because I have no plans on getting off the wrap snack train anytime soon. 
Well, we'll come to the end of another episode of the podcast. I really hope you've enjoyed our time together today. I know I have. Really enjoyed creating this one. It was a fun, fun time for me. So if you guys are loving the content that I'm creating as much as I love creating the content that you guys are watching, you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and then hit that little bell icon because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Hey, don't forget to make somebody smile today. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier and a little bit wackier together as one, my brother and sister, singing and dancing in the sun and the rain. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, ta-da! Never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who cannot take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much, just the way you are. All right, guys, I'm Jason, this is the vodcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Keep it gangster, motherfucker. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>